Hello friends and fellow crafters, welcome to the DM's Craft. Today I'm going to show you a cool craft for making barrels for your games. And the trick with barrels is they're kind of curved, they're kind of curved in, so it can be tricky to uh, craft those, but I have a really super easy and cheap way to do it. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how I did it. Now here's the material I used to start, and it's very thin cardboard. Uh, this is, was a priority mail envelope, and this was a um, another competitor envelope. And you can see that it's very got some very thin corrugation on the side. Okay, so this is the key to this project. So now what I did was I looked at the corrugation. You kind of see it in the light here, and I took a pen and I just marked between each corrugation. Okay, and I just went down the entire side, marked all the corrugation on one side, and then I turned it over into the other side, and so I've got it on each side, and then I used a ruler and just drew across uh, the corrugation. So this will help me um, cut these lines so I can get the, uh, the boarding effect that I'm going after. So I'm just using a small box cutter. Uh, I'm just cutting the first layer. Okay, I didn't cut through all the way. I just cut that first layer and you can see it flex there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, the barrels out. So I need, uh, the barrels are going to be an inch tall, okay, and they'll be a little shorter than that once we do some uh, the other technique on them. So I measured an inch for each barrel, and then I'm going to measure a quarter of an inch uh, from the top, of, uh, top and bottom of each inch, and you'll see why I do that in a minute. So I'm going to draw the lines on there so I can have a guide when I cut this out. So I'll uh, got all the guides on there, my ruler, and now I'll just cut those two. I've got actually got two barrels out coming out of this sheet, or two rows of barrels coming out of this sheet. So let's cut that out, and you can see that it's ready to go. So now, uh, you can see it flexes very nicely, uh, but I haven't pierced the second layer, okay? And that's what's the key to this project. So now I'm gonna count in 12 uh, corrugation links and kind of twist it around uh, I'm going to cut uh, from the top and bottom to that line, not past, just so those are flexible, and then I'll bend each one, okay? And then I'm bending them in, so I just got the crease on there and I'm bending them in. So now I've got a piece with the top and the bottom bent inward, okay? So now I can just uh, flex that so it comes into a circle, a tube, all right? And then just connect the two ends. So I'm going to use a P or so use some hot glue and put it on the end there, and just hold it so it it uh, hardens up and it's ready to go. Now I need to cover the top and the bottom of the barrel, so I'm going to use the same thin cardboard. And I had this piece, uh, this circular game piece, and I'm going to use that to measure. But it's actually the circle size is uh, five eighths of an inch. All right, so I'm just going to cut those out and. Uh, so I've got my discs. Now I'm going to put one on the bottom. And one problem I'm going to have with this is the weight. Okay. So what I want to do is put a bolt in the bottom of this. And that will give it some weight because it's just paper. It's going to fly all over the place. So I'll put some uh, hot glue in there, a uh, generous portion of hot glue. Drop the, the bolt in there. And then you can just push it down with a toothpick to make sure it's flat on the bottom. It'll almost be like a weeble. Um, if you're familiar with those toys, it'll it'll give it weight on the bottom there, okay? And this will keep it from just flying around and falling all over the place when you when you have it on the tile. So I'll just pop the top on, and you can see it that it has weight in there, and it, it won't fall over quite as easily, all right? Now I've spray painted these black with flat black paint, and I'm going to use a um, burnt umber and just paint all of these up. And uh, they're all set. I let them dry. Now I've got a Mississippi mud here. It's kind of a just a uh, kind of a, a muddy brown, and I'm just going to paint uh, the barrels. I want to make sure I accentuate the uh, the um, the ribbing of the barrels. Okay, don't cover that up. So let's paint all those barrels. Get a nice wood texture on there. 
And uh, now I'm going to use a light gray. I want to do some aging on that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of touch of light gray on there and that'll give a little bit of aging to the wood. It'll look like it's aged wood. And you see I'm not covering that up. I'm just hitting it, splashing across it almost to give it uh, that look. All right, there we go. Nice looking aged barrels right there. Uh, one last detail I want to do is the banding, okay? So I'm going to use a thin piece of thin cardstock that you would run through a printer, okay? And, you know, with the banding, uh, I'm just going to measure this uh, an eighth of an inch. And with the banding, you could paint that on there if you want, but I think this really looks great and I think it's worth the time. Okay, so I cut the strips out and I'm going to use a metallic black, okay? And I'll paint, the, I'll paint each strip. I'm just using a pad so I don't make a mess on my surface there. All right. And uh, I'll let those dry for a minute. And now I'm going to use a uh, burnt umber to kind of give it uh, like a little bit of a rust on it. So that's kind of nice. It gives it a little more detail. And uh, now I've got my barrel. Okay. And you can see kind of the marks where I've got, I marked it on when I cut it, you know, going around the, the barrel there. So I'll, I'll put some um, white glue around it and then wrap my uh, piece of banding around. And I prefer using the white glue because the hot glue is really it's hard to do with this small detail. Okay, and then I'll do the other banding and I'll just keep going around and uh, finish up the banding. And just hold it long enough that it'll stick. And you'll be set. So there we go. There's one barrel. Got, my, got the rest to do. And I'll be set for our tavern. So here I have my tavern tile and I'm going to set it up. I've got the bar there. Uh, start putting the tables, chairs, everything in there. Got a uh, fireplace, got my barrels that I made for this video, got some uh, servers, patrons, and of course you have to have the party, so they're at the table. But unfortunately for them, their repast is uh, interrupted by some assassins that have come to hate them for thwarting their evil plans. So they surround the party and it uh, looks like a dangerous bar fight is about to ensue. All right, so here we go. There's the setup. And uh, let me give you a look at those barrels. They came out really, really great. Look how good they look. Um, that banding looks fantastic. Uh, they got that curve like a barrel should have. Uh, and that bolt inside really holds them up nicely. Also, the characters can stand on them, so that's kind of cool. So you could do a stunt where you could jump up on the barrel, fight, you know, fight from the barrel. So fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, also, I got tables, uh, doors, uh, chairs, uh, fireplaces, and I have videos on all this stuff, so make sure you check it out. Oh, Roderick, not feel so good. Roderick, drink too much. Ugh.